TPM, the Japan Institute of Plant Maintenance started a system called as TPM. One of its great users is Dr. Aslan Nitya. His factories produced zero defect, zero delays with constantly reducing lead time and reducing costs. Dr. Aslan Nitya has 35 years of work experience and he has authored two books. Over the years, I have found TPM is a lot more broader than what a lot of people in the industry think. TPM is about zero accidents. It's about zero defects. It's about zero breakdowns. We are talking about predictable machines, making predictable quality and delivering at predictable time. And for this to happen, we also need the people who are able to deliver this. So over the years, I have found these are the two things, the people part and the machine part, that is driven under the umbrella called TPM, which is very, very powerful to deliver manufacturing excellence. So I will really, really encourage all organizations look at TPM in a holistic manner TPM has eight pillars. The first one, or the most important, is autonomous maintenance, also known as Jishu Hosen. What is the objective of the Jishu Hosen pillar? The purpose is to eliminate the accelerated or forced deterioration. Imagine you have a bearing which has a lifespan of two years, but you don't oil it, you don't take care of it you let the dust sink in, then what would happen? The lifespan comes down to one year. How to do autonomous maintenance? Let me tell you, for autonomous maintenance, the very first step is the production and the maintenance team work together. Also, we have to do it in limited time span because we cannot keep the machine stuck for long. So, prepare in advance all the tools and equipment that you require, prepare in advance. And do the initial cleaning first of all, because cleaning is inspecting. And whatever abnormalities you find, you clear them on the spot. And sometimes you cannot, then? So you tag them. So that you can improve them in step two of autonomous maintenance. Congratulations. We did it together. Yes. Autonomous maintenance step one. So, how was autonomous maintenance? We have a lot of findings. 
the number one is the one of the alarm was not working so we corrected it that means the safety will go up yes great the second finding one of the job holder was offset by 30 microns oh. and what we did we corrected it on the spot wow does that mean they, it will have no defects now yes and the third one we tagged the suction area because we found out it was weak we will need to correct it later yes. amansi can you help kushbu and me to correct it yes we will plan that when can we shut down the machine and we will work on it accordingly that would be step 2 of autonomous maintenance step 1 complete yes Okay, one of the important things about TPM, and also what we are talking about, is the Industrial Revolution 4.0, and the digital application in manufacturing environment. When we do not have reliable machine, machines that produce good quality parts, connecting them digitally, it is almost like connecting waves. We need to have reliable machines, and also machines that produce good quality. so that the digital connectivity of a digital connected factory the factory of the future and the application of industrial revolution or industry 4.0 can be materialized so tpm is the foundation that must exist and fully deployed to achieve the factory of the future the digital connectivity of the whole manufacturing to achieve the requirement of manufacturing excellence in the era of digital world in the era of industry 4.0